Joe Joe in the morning show on CD1025, 846 now, and time for your weekly video game report. And that is brought to you by Comic Town. Remember, Comic Town is your source for comic books and more. Chuck from Gaming Nexus is in. How you doing, Chuck? Not too bad yourself, Joe. Uh, good. What have we got this week? Well, Joe, it's baseball. The baseball All Star game was last night. So you yeah. know what that means, right? Yeah. It's almost football season. Oh, is that what that means to you? Yeah. Okay. It's a little different. My, my, I'm a football fan. Like, but when, uh, when you're a football fan and it's non football season, it's always, oh, football season's coming up. Yep. It's just the only thing you think about. I really. get a call from my mom every year when camp breaks, and yeah. she's like, we survived another year. Well, what's your, what's your team? Uh, the, uh, Ohio State, obviously, uh, the Red Hawks and uh, the Bengals. The Bengals. Yeah. Oh, good luck with that. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm sure it. that'll work out for you. Yeah, so the other thing it means is that we're getting our football games, or start of them. So this mm-hmm. week we're getting NCAA Football 13, which is coming out for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And this is a yearly f- franchise. So they come out with a new version every year. So you're always getting graphical updates, new features, and they fix a bunch of stuff, that they, you know, that they, bugs that were in the game. Yeah. So the big new feature this year is that you can go through and add a, a former Heisman player to your team and kind of see how that plays out. So you get like a super-duper player. And this, this new mode actually has a local connection. Okay. Um, apparently, Eddie George had played the game, and he actually created himself in the game. Okay. And he wanted to see what would happen if he'd actually played for SMU instead of coming to Ohio State. Okay. And so the folks at EA Sports were like, hey, that's a really cool idea. Let's put that in the game. And so this year's version, you can go out and you can play Eddie, you can play Desmond Howard, Matt Leiner, and Robert Griffin III, and put, put them on your football team to kind of see how oh, it goes. Oh, okay. Move them around, yeah. Yeah, so for, um, early review scores have been kind of average to, to kind of, kind of medium, yeah. uh, so, which is kind of typical for this series. Um, so they haven't anything that's really kind of broken the mold. Uh, so for your fan of the series, go out, buy. If not, wait till it's in the bargain bin. Okay. But, uh, again, NCAA football for Xbox 360 and PS3. Uh, what's next? Up next, we have a game called Quantum Conundrum. Uh, which is coming it out. It sounds like a James Bond movie. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it's actually not. It's a puzzle game. Uh, okay. And it's by a woman. It was designed by a woman named Kim Swift who designed the Portal uh, game called Portal and Portal 2, which came out a couple years ago. And these are really intense first-person puzzle games. So you really have to think about using these. Um, the story behind it is that you're this 12-year-old kid who's dropped off at his uncle's place, and you're kind of hanging out with him. And he's a bit of a mad scientist, and he's kind of trapped himself in an altered dimension. And so you had to use this magic this glove, which switches dimensions. To kind of save him. And so you can make things very heavy. You can make things very light. You can slow down the speed of time. And you can... Um, child, bottom like now. And you can actually reverse gravity and to solve the puzzles in the game. Mm-hmm. And so as you go through, you start off with like one puzzle where you get it with one dimension and then switch to another dimension and things like that. But eventually you use all four of them at the same time or in a certain sequence of puzzles. So they get the difficulty ramps up very quickly. Um, really satisfying experience when you finish it. Really? It uh, sounds boring as hell. It's a lot of I'm fun. I'm sorry, it does. Those super, the little powers sound fine. Yeah. They sound fine. That, that's great. But then you just use them to solve puzzles. It's an, it's, it's, I played the Here's hell Here's a game I, for you, Grandma. No. No? No, okay. absolutely okay. not. Yeah, this is a totally a fun game. It's not like, like board games or anything like that. You're actually solving like challenge puzzles with physics and things like that. Yeah. I played the hell out of The kind of this puzzles game. that would, that would uh, frazzle the mind of a 12-year-old kid. Exactly. Okay. Or, or a 39-year-old adult. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Really fun game. I played the hell out of it. Um, what recommended? Um, the writing's not particularly good, uh, but the puzzles are fantastic. I'm just going to take your word for it. Uh, Quantum Conundrum for uh, PC, Xbox 360, and PlayStation. And real quick, uh, Endless Space. Yeah, this is a new indie, indie game. It's a 4X strategy game that's coming out for the PC. Um, it's, it's kind of a token of the franchise. You build your empire, conquer other planets, and then kind of try to kill everyone else out in the universe. Um, usually a lot of micromanagement involved. Uh, which that's the game I like. You kill everybody in the universe. Yeah. Instead of doing crossword puzzles like a kid. Or enslave them, you know. Your, your whatever choice. You, whatever you like. Fun game. Um, they kind of streamline the experience. It's not as deep as other games, but it's only 20 bucks, And you're going to get, like, 60, 70 hours easy out of this game. It's a lot of fun. You can find it on Steam. Uh, highly recommend it. I, I played the hell out of the beta and the alpha of this game. Okay. Love it. Uh, that one's Endless Space, and that's for PC. Yep. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Yep. All right. 849. CD 1025.